Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss about dense layer. So dense layer what it is, how it is bigger. Let's see some example for clear understanding. First I am importing all the necessary models and libraries. So here the Keras models, sequential I just using it and Keras layer as a dense I am going to import right now. So sequential is nothing but we are going to create a stack container queue. Inside only we are going to run all our dense layer one, one by one. So dense layer is nothing but it's just a header layer we are going to process with our input layer. Let's see this example here the dense i just add inside the model and the unit as a 3 input shape as a 5 and bias is enabled as a 2 which means i am passing 5 input layer and i am getting the output as a 3 that's the meaning for them but here i am using bias as a additional so input shape plus bias that's the common meaning for them so 5 plus 1 regularly we, we are going to process our data as it is it's a common way to initiate our dense layer let's see the output in the summary model then you'll get some idea so here you can see i just passing the dense layer output shape as a 3 and input shape already I mentioned as a 5 so 5 plus 1 is a 6 6 into 3 18 so 18 parameter I am going to pass for my model next I am going to add one more dense layer for our clear understanding now here I just passing two output layer but I didn't mention anything about input layer because existing output is an input for the next dense layer because already I mentioned sequential is a stack queue so this output will be transferred to another dense layer this is the meaning for them so 3 is I am going to get as an input layer for them and I didn't use bias. This is for our practice reference. I just disabled it right now. So 3 directly I am going to get it. 3 into 2, 6. That's a common parameter I am going to use for this iteration. Now see the example output. You will get some more details. So I can see 2 and 3. So 3 input layer and 2 output layer I am getting it. So total 6 parameters. First one is 18 parameter. Second one is 16 parameter. Now I am going to add one more dense layer for clear understanding of course. Here I am going to add one more dense layer and I just mentioning only one output shape as a one but i just enable the bias again which means whatever the input i'm going to get it it's going to be added with the bias and then it's just going to be make the header layer references so two as an input two plus one three three into one so as it is three parameter i'm going to get for them let's see the output as i expected one into three so first one 18 the second i'm getting as a six and third one i'm getting as a three so total 27 parameter iteration is going to be happened with our dense layer process in this model you can see the output here there's a clear representation in the chart model the same you can compare it at the beginning i just mentioning input layer as a five whatever i'm pausing it that will come here the same is going to be accepted in the sequential model at the beginning so five is an input and five is output in the sequential model that's going to be passed as input to dense layer one and i'm getting three so five plus one because bias is enabled so six into three eight in parameter is just going to be i make it to the first iterations second dense layer i'm going to get this output as an input here so three output shape i'm going to get it here i didn't enable any biases so 3 into 2 6 that's i'm getting as in third iteration layer the two output is going to be passed as an input shape for the dense layer final one and i just enable the bias again so 2 plus 1 3 3 into 1 3 as it is i'm getting it now you are getting some idea about dense layer that's it for the video and please provide valuable feedbacks and comments